Mr. Deputy Speaker, a single thief acting alone is an outlaw, but a gang of thieves who manage to control the institutions of the state find that they can compel the law to their service. A counterfeiter is sent to prison. A central banker who debauches the currency is rewarded with a knighthood. A blackmailer who extorts is convicted. A taxman who does the same thing is supported by the taxpayers whom he's fleecing. A kidnapper who holds us to ransom expects a long prison sentence. A government minister who holds us in uh, oppression expects to retire with a, hand, uh, with a healthy pension. The story of democracy, the story of human progress is holding to account those who govern us and preventing that systemic looting. But now, at European level, our looters have escaped the bounds of public opinion. And so, particularly in the peripheral states, we see generational poverty being inflicted without any recourse from the victims. On the 20th anniversary of my own country's escape from the ERM, let me assure the peoples of Europe that there is an alternative. There is a way out running your own affairs in your own interests and growing your way back to growth. Is there